Potter's Journal. It is a new year, 2021. Some things are better left behind. Some chapters, some stories may be better never known. Um, but last year in the pottery and in my Potter's Journal, it was a very good year. I always start the year with busy work and lists, making double bowls, sponge holders, egg spits, candle holders, and some project just to get going, uh, what I call the weight loss bowl, very large wavy edged fruit bowl. Um, I remember using a tennis ball to make it. And, okay, this is something I don't think I ever okay, show, I've shown the um, candle holders. Now, I just used cookie cutters for them. It probably should have been my own um, design and pattern, but I wanted to test market them first. Many of us, okay, didn't get much of a chance to do that, to have a market or a sale last year. Okay, this was a big part of last year, discovering for the first time um, French country pottery jugs, something I was completely unaware of. Something I didn't know existed. Um, so much variety and style. Um, the um, twisted coil handles, like from my Let's Get Connected video. And I want to learn to throw smaller this year. These are relatively small, relatively easy to ship, but I want to try doing things about the size of a mug. Something that you can put in a box easily and ship. And it's also what people seem to, you know, buy is the smaller pieces. And this spout um, was um, one of particular interest for me, as was the conscience jug. Another piece that's um, relatively small, but I need to learn to throw small this year. Many of these pieces were very large. And uh, many of them too, since I'm doing a series of 101 jugs, all different. Um, a lot of it was also kitchenware. Okay, here we go on how I do the production when I decide what to make, the size, and a few um, small ones, medium ones. Uh, the um, Here we go with the beading, as I called it. Um, I really enjoyed doing that and the video was very well received and here's the clay all over the page okay announcing that this was the okay work page the page that we worked from and when I'm finished okay with my jug exploration I'd like to come back to this because there's so much cookware too um, in the French pottery um, I did uh, get a book, and um, hopefully I'll get a book report uh, review done on that. Here's a picture from it with the pieces hanging from the roof of an old barn. And I did some uh, chip into plates again. Since I've done them before, what I really remember is doing the little olive plates with the toothpick holder in the center of it. So that was something new that also didn't get tested at the markets this year. Um, it was a year that, um, okay, that didn't happen much, nor did all of these pieces made for gatherings and celebrations have much use this year. This is an apple baker bowl. I researched everybody else's and then did four styles of my own. Um, I also included a video on using them, but instead I did a video on apple strudel and making that. Um, here it is matching a pie plate, which I do a lot of as well. And uh, the apple strudel, you know, here we go with the pizza, the nut roll. I will have to do a video with that sometime. One quarter Slovenian, I didn't know that there was a Slovenia special pan, ring pan, 
until I saw a video of a Slovenia potter making them. The double bowls, although I made 48 individuals, putting them together as 24, I don't really remember making. I've done them before, and that was just the repetitive work. And the pies, I had a little bit of every size made, but made some more mediums and large with the sea mist. A standard ceramics glaze that everybody really likes, and with some layered glazes. Um, I remember very well doing the face mugs because I took them a new direction and put some earrings on them this year. And seeing some others do very large eyes, uh, tried to break mine out of the mold they had fallen into. But um, what I didn't get around to doing is making the ears as part of the handle and putting an earring around that. So there's my idea. Okay, you've got it. You can do it first and show me what you do. Okay, I've done a lot of little bowls to test glazes on. Um, the question is always, you know, after you're finished with the glazes, what do you do with the glaze test? So you can sell the bowls, and I already sold one of those bowls, so I'll have to test it again. You know, I don't know what to do this year, but here's a special order. And this has been here for over a year. You see precise measurements, sizes, heights. Somebody broke one that they had in their kitchen and wanted it replaced. And it's probably sat here for a year because this is making somebody else's pot. And it's a little hard to get excited about that. Um, dinnerware set. Okay, with something going on in the background while we're having fun this year. Um, okay, and that grape or purple glaze is what I need to get for the berry colander, the special order. So I'll see how it works on my roughly three different styles of mugs um, while I'm doing it for the one. Sometimes, and this is what I need to do now to get back into the studio, you just throw yourself into a project, whether it seems right or not, a no-lidded garlic jar, an onion crock with holes in the bottom to, so it could breathe, potatoes. It uh, is not something that um, yeah, I got excited about in the end, and even put some in the scrap bucket, but it led me on to reviving a slip decorating technique I had years ago where I would put a band of slip and then trail um, rings round and round and then swipe through it all so I had a lot of fun with that as did everybody watching it started with me making some tea bowls and really thinking about and discussing how a kick wheel works a little bit so this slip technique was well received, as was the jugs I made <laughs> while doing it. Okay, and here's another clue for what I could do this year. A Mexican jug with a cup that matches and functions as a lid. And these, I will say, were transposed. I saw the images and, you know, made changes when it showed up in the sketch. I uh, think and hope changes will happen again when it happens on the wheel. So the word could be inspired by. So I need to do that again. And I did a series of garden art, garden sculpture, and some garden pottery bird baths out of sewer pipe. They were taller than my kiln needed to be so I could make a big piece and a little piece. The little piece actually functioned um, it looked like a little crown with the turtles dancing around and found if I cut the pipe the right way I could get two little pieces or two medium size. So um, yeah I cut the pipe in different ways and used it differently than I had in the past so I do remember that the flowers, I, yeah, I did do. The roses. Okay, I only did one of those. You know what? I wasn't completely happy. And the fish. 
Okay, so this is on a ring, a pipe, ceramic pipe. So they're swimming around it and almost uh, making the it look like a school. So maybe next year I'll do some faux wood this year, I should say, uh, some faux wood planters. But um, I've done some very large, but never actually some small marketable pieces of the sculpture with the faux wood, maybe a bird sitting on top. And yeah, while having the fun, okay, the dinnerware was going on in the background. I have all the measurements for next time. I didn't use a gauge or a stick to throw to, but um, just sorted them out as uh, some that are larger and some that are a little smaller. And the fall, okay, I turned to Warren McKenzie okay for influence I didn't get around to doing his jugs but I did a lot of the wavy bit which so many artists have done and um, looked at his uh, slip work but it always in the end did come back to my own and what I've done Okay, and seeing others do it. And here we go on Lee Bass's piece. Every time he'd pull something out of the kiln this summer, I would say, oh, I want that piece. I've got to get one of his pots. He did some with the hackamy on the inside of a tea bowl. And when something here disappeared from his YouTube or Etsy site, I said, oh, no, after Christmas, I've, in the new year, I've got to get a piece. So... After seeing a piece disappear from his website, I, or Etsy site, I made a very formal proposal. And since he had expressed the desire to get one of my pieces, um, you know, said that would be great too. Um, and couldn't believe the response I got. Something about he'd have maybe a good piece in the summer, as if my taste. My, okay, he said, my taste now wasn't very good. Okay. I can't pick a good pot, I can't decide what I like is he maybe, if he did want to make a trade, holding out for me to make a better offer. How far, how far, how far does he think I'll go? I don't make um, content for kids or youth here, but um, I know his are watching over his shoulder. Maybe they'll talk him into it. Or at least let me know how I could, um, okay, acquire one of his pieces. And then there's the potter's kitchen. But the mandala patterns, something that, look at that, and the amount of work that goes into it. Oh, and how it even comes from nature, and you can see it in the sunflowers. I got nearly the same response. <laughs> She wanted to acquire a piece of mine. I said, oh, great, well, let's trade. And was told her work isn't good enough. Oh, look at that. Even the simple pieces, a baking dish. And why wouldn't I want to have one of these pieces? We've got so many of the same interests in food, in gardening, in nature. Why do people collect stuff? Why? You know, here, here is a Clive Bowen tea bowl. In the end, this is a possession compared to compared to this from Freddie Moretti. And I didn't know what I'd do with it until a mouse showed up from Carol, Mathena Farrago didn't know what either I'd do with either of the pieces and they somehow came together and belonged to each other. He took up home in here. I'll occasionally put in some kale and a walnut. You can go back to my comment on I will put a link at the end here to um, Karen's Pot and Glass. Last March she was showing her collection of bowls. And my thoughts in the comments there are what I hope Lee 
the shadow will read, or I'm sorry, the shadow will read and um, consider the trade that I think they've hinted to doing themselves, and that you'll leave something in the comment to encourage them. Okay, I'm going to say stop back and see what happens in the studio this year. And in the garden. And in the kitchen.